Welcome to the Chic Assignment for Summer 2022. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. So the Chic Assignment is normally a monthly assignment where we dive into arts and culture each month, but because of my travel and work schedule, and because I slow down a little bit in the summer, we are having one chic assignment for the whole summer. Regular chic assignments will resume in September, but we're doing things a little differently this summer, and I'm really excited for this format because in today's video, we're going to go over what we're going to be exploring this summer, and then there's not going to be a specific check-in, like I normally do later in the month. But throughout my videos in July and August, there's going to be many surprises and a lot of different things happening. <laughs> I won't go into it, but I'm going to insert commentary on the Chic Assignment through a lot of those videos. This is only for the summertime, so don't panic if you liked the old format. But I think that this way we can have a more immersive experience with the Chic Assignment. Plus, people who don't normally follow the assignments might discover that they're interested in them when I insert them into other videos. So all of that to say, I'm really excited to do this with you this summer. The Chic Assignment is brought to us by the Chic Society, which is channel memberships here on The Daily Connoisseur. And it's a private group and you can join by hitting the join button or you could click the link down below. There are three different tiers in the Chic Society. I do one vodcast every Friday. We do a Zoom call or a live stream once a month. And we even have a pen pal program. Right now you're seeing some of the upper tiers, the Chic Connoisseurs. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share the Elegant Connoisseurs with you and they are artists, writers, business owners, or high patrons of the channel. So I really appreciate the Chic Society for funding this very fun series. Chic assignment number one is to listen to the finale of Rossini's William Tell Overture. So I've been looking on a lot of classical music lists. And the ones that I've been researching are classical music pieces everyone should know. And I'm really proud to say that we have studied almost all of them in most of the lists. So I think this is a big part of the Chic Assignment is that we are all educating ourselves on these masterpieces and I'm learning right along with you. So we need to add the William Tell Overture to this list. I know you're going to recognize it immediately. I think it's great that we're going to be able to know, okay, this is the William Tell Overture and it's by Rossini, which I didn't know. I didn't know who had written it. When we learn more about it, we're going to dive into Rossini's life and what the William Tell Overture means. But just a quick snippet on the composer, who is Gioacchino Antonio Rossini. He was an Italian composer who gained fame for his 39 operas, although he wrote many songs, some chamber music and piano pieces, and some sacred music. So he was born in Pissarro, Italy, February 29th, 1792, and he died November 13th, 1868 in Passy, Paris. France. So we're going to learn more about Rossini later on in the summer and we're going to enjoy this performance of the William Tell Overture Finale. I think it's the best one on YouTube. It's performed by the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra under the baton of Edo de Vart. So they perform the thrilling finale to Rossini's William Tell Overture and this performance is so clean. My favorite part of the whole piece is the bells. The bells are so important in this uh, piece. So let us know what you think of the William Tell Overture. I will link this masterful performance down below. Chic assignment number two is to enjoy the artwork of John Constable. So John Constable was an English landscape painter in the Romantic period. We study a lot of people from the Romantic period. So he was born June 11th, 1776 in East Bergholt, United Kingdom, and he died March 31st, 1837 in London. John Constable's The Haywain is one of Ben's favorite pieces and we have a reproduction of it in our living room. We're going to learn more about uh, John Constable later on in the summer, but I would love for you to check out the free resource down below where you can see his paintings and let me know what your favorite one is. Chic assignment number three is to send a postcard 
to someone this summer. So we love writing letters. We love handwritten letters, of course, here on The Daily Connoisseur. And I thought about this because I received a postcard from Jenny Williams from Carrot Top Paper Shop. She actually makes postcards. And it was such a pleasant surprise to receive a postcard in the mail. I get a lot of letters in the mail, but not so many postcards, and that was really nice. The history of the postcard is also rather interesting, and we're going to dive into that later on in the summer as well. But the postcard culture in America is normally when you travel or you go on holiday, you buy a few postcards from where you've been and you send them to your loved ones. And I remember my grandmother always did this. Whenever she traveled anywhere, she would write me a postcard from the location she was in. And it was so special to receive those postcards. I probably took it for granted at the time, but now I really appreciate them. And sometimes she would just send them from her hometown uh, because she lived in a very picturesque place. So I would love for you to send a postcard this summer. Don't tell the person you're sending the postcard to. Let, let it be a surprise for them. But you could probably even find postcards in your local drugstore of the town you live in or the state you live in. Etsy's a great place to find postcards or Amazon or I'm sure you could find them lots of places. This is optional, of course, but it is a really fun thing to do. I want to read to you a little bit from the Smithsonian Institute here. They say, postcards, as we are familiar with them today, have taken a considerable amount of time to develop. First restricted by size, color, and other regulations, postcard production blossomed in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Postcards were popular because they were a quick and easy way for individuals to communicate with each other. Today, Delteology, or the collection of postcards, is a popular hobby. So when we check in later on in the summer, I'm going to share a really interesting article with you that shares postcards sent from very famous people in the past. A lot of them were authors, so we can read the postcards that they sent. So let us know if you send a postcard this summer and the reaction of the person who received the postcard. Were they overjoyed? Let us know. Chic assignment number four is to engage in conscious relaxation. What does that mean? That means that you are consciously going to insert more time to relax into your schedule. So you are probably coming off of a very hectic end of the school year or work schedule or something like that. And as we enter these next few months, it's time to slow down a little bit. Where can you relax things? Whether it's with your cleaning schedule or your work schedule or maybe your commitment schedule of volunteering or whatever it is that you do with your time, how can you create room for conscious relaxation. And what does that look like for you? So it could look like reading or writing poetry or laying outside or going swimming or taking a nap in the afternoon, <laughs> something that you don't normally do. So we're going to be conscious about our relaxation for the next few months. And I truly believe that we all need time. It's just modern life is so hectic and fast paced and our schedules are so crammed that we do need to consciously insert time to relax. And now I'm going to share the elegant connoisseurs with you. Alan Watt with the 30-day outline for the LA Writers Lab. Bernadette M. Petrata from Polite Society School of Etiquette. Jenny Williams from Carrot Top Paper Shop. The Chef on the Shelf by Valerie Yanez. Elaine Brisebois, Certified Nutritionist and Women's Weight Loss Coach. Emily McNeil, Fine Art. Ashley Buffa, Freedom Mom Smart Kid Chore System. Guy Blaze, author of Love Like the French. Mrs. Hanover from the Not So Desperate Housewives blog. Indiana Davis from Willow Nook Seasonal Subscription Box. Carrie Van Hooser, author of Tis the Season for Poetry. Nicole Brignol, founder of Lovely Bits. Macondo Forever Woven Placemats. Sarah Miller from sarahmillerjewelry.com. Mrs. Shockley from A Home for Elegance. Teresa Maples from Self-Care Routine Cards. Sarah Morgan Wellness. Alan Scottish Shortbread. Sturm Brothers Custom Design and Fine Jewelry. And thank you to the following. Catherine Ray. Adelaide Beer. Carly Tom from Living in Loveliness. Gabrielle Julie DeBear. Janice Leitner. Jenny Candelaria. Jet Rally Heron. Gina K. Henry. Juliette Keeler Labin. Julie Coleman, Linda Eckloff, Marie Caudill, and Maria Condor. Thank you to the Chic Society for bringing us the Chic Assignment for summer. I'm so excited to see where this assignment takes us. Remember, I'm going to be inserting um, 
the exploration of this assignment through various videos throughout the summer. So make sure that you are subscribed and you hit the bell for notifications. Keep calm and remain classy, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.